we'll use this Dollar Tree llama sign to make this cute little wreath. Keep watching. We're gonna use this little canvas sign from Dollar Tree. Just got some scraps of burlap. You know, I always pick up things that I might use and I might not use, so. Got little bits of this and that all over. Got some thrifted ribbon and some Dollar Tree ribbon. A little bit of Christmas mesh. And this is a wire wreath form that I got from Dollar Tree and I've just wrapped it with burlap. I've used this over and over again so you can see the, the glue on there. That won't matter, it's gonna be covered. This is a 14 inch wreath, as you can see here. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make these little mesh ruffles. And they're really just tubes. We're going to use 10 inch pieces and we're going to roll them up. Rolling, rolling, rolling. They're going to be about the diameter when you get to the end of probably a quarter. You can make them tight, tighter if you'd like, whichever way you want to do it. Just using my clips from Dollar Tree to hold those down while I get the other two pieces ready because we're going to have three pieces in each bundle. Repeat the process, tucking and rolling. And we're gonna pinch them together. You can use any color that you like, any color you have that coordinates with the little canvas that you choose. And I did not measure that canvas, but it's pretty standard for what they have in Dollar Tree. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. We're gonna make several of these. I'm taking these red pipe cleaners and I'm going to be cutting those in half and I'm gonna start making my ribbon bundles. So you can see here, these are eight inches of ribbon. And we're gonna do one for each of those little bundles. So there's three, four, five. And then we're gonna do five of the blue. You can do a few more or you can do less, whichever one you want to use. This is just what I've used. They're also the same size as the red. Now I'm stacking these up and folding them over so that I can dovetail the ends all at one time. If the ribbon's not too thick and you've got good scissors, this makes your process a little bit quicker. I'm gonna do it on both sides. And then I'm going to do the same thing with these. You certainly don't have to. It's a thinner ribbon, but I wanted to do it. I think it's cute. I like the look of it. Now we're going to take this Christmas ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. I had left over for Christmas time. And we're going to be cutting the same amount. I think we had five. Then we're going to fold those over and dovetail those as well. Both ends. Then I'm going to start with my little bundle, give it a twist or two. I'm going to start my little bundles, put them together, squeeze them together in a center, wrap that over them and twist it in the back. And they're really cute once they're all fluffed out. Now the smallest ribbon there does not have wire in it. That is not a problem. It's on top. It's small, it really doesn't need it. It'll stand up on its own. We're gonna do the same thing with the next one. You can see exactly what I'm doing. Crossing it over. And then twisting those around to the back. We're gonna continue this process until each one of these little mesh and ribbon pieces are together.
Do you celebrate Valentine's Day? Are you decorating for Valentine's Day? Because I'm thinking this looks kind of like Valentine's to me. Uh, it's definitely love and it's got the colors with the red in there, but with the blue from the little scarf of one of the llamas, I think that you could use it anytime. And both of my daughters wear glasses. My youngest daughter is seven. And I think that this would be really cute in her room. But both of my girls like llamas, even my adult daughter. Okay, now we want to find placement of our cute little canvas and find a way to attach those. So instead of hot gluing it onto the frame, I'm just going to use my little pipe cleaner and a little scrap of paper to make something to attach it with. You can use wire for this, you can use floral wire, you can use whatever you have for this. So pipe cleaners can sometimes be a little bit uh, limp and they are sometimes hard to feed through that burlap uh, It just depends and the wider the weave on the burlap the easier it is to get these in So you just kind of fool around with a little bit until you can get them fed through and make sure that you are wrap Wrapping it around one of the wires on the inside and I'm kind of aiming for that middle Wire and just feeding that through there and then this will be on the other side of the metal ring Pull it tightly or I'll say that I'll pull it snugly. You know, I'm pulling thing too tight. I don't want to distort the frame or the burlap by getting it too tight. And then I did the same thing with the bottom corner and just attached it down. Now we have to find a way to get these bundles on. And I'm decided that the stiffer floor wire would be the thing to use. That is a, a stiffer one. It's a heavy duty, kind of a heavy duty wire. So I make it like a bobby pin or a little hair pin put it right over the center and then just twist it up on the back and it will stay for as long as you need it to stay. We'll go on with the next one, do the same thing. We wanna put it snugly next to the other one. You can put it at an angle or you could turn it sideways, whatever you wanna do as long as you get them snugged in there together. See, I turned this one a little bit sideways. You will have some freedom to move it around just a bit because we didn't use hot glue. So that makes it a, a good way to keep your options open if you want to change this around a little bit. So there are all the little pretty bunches on there and we're down to the bottom. And you can begin arranging your little, the little tubes of mesh and the bows. And pull that wired ribbon out, kind of curl it over your finger or bend the wires so that it flares out a little bit. And separate the layers so that you can see each piece that you have there. See that blue ribbon will stand up there for you nicely. So I decided I wanted a little extra something in the center and I had these little pearl beads left over from Dollar Tree. So I wanted to test them out and I think they're gonna look cute. Get your finger protectors on so you don't burn yourself. I guess I was feeling risky this day. So if you're not going to use anything to protect your fingers, be super careful when you place these down. Make sure that you don't put your finger in that glue. It is hot and it really doesn't take a lot of glue to put these pieces down. Doesn't that look cute? I think that gives it a nice little touch. You could always use little red hearts or buttons or anything that you like there. I think this is pretty though. Brings a little more white to break up some of that red. So we're just going to put one in the center of each one of those little bundles. See, just a little glue. I want to fix it where I don't see the hole. So it looks like an actual pearl in there. And I have some of these little hearts that came from a pick from Dollar Tree in the Valentine section. And I think I want to add those on there. Because those little llamas look like a cute little couple to me, 
I thought two little hearts would be very cute. I'm gonna layer on a felt heart sticker. These also came from Dollar Tree. Just gonna kind of put it, eyeball it in the center and just place that down. These are very flexible, they're fabric, so you can kind of mold them to the shape of what you have under them. I've gotten a lot of use out of this one bag of felt stickers, so it's worth your money for sure. Okay, so I decided I wanted to add a little extra something, so I'm just taking one little tube that's a 10 inch tube, just rolled it up like with the others, and then I'm gonna layer the ribbon on top. This time I'm not using the metallic red. Twisting them together with a little floral wire, dovetailing my ends. And this little bow is gonna go right there by the hearts. this is going to pull it together. We're going to make the sides similar or at least coordinated. We can say that much. Now this wire is going to hold down your hearts and at some point since they're not glued down you can remove those hearts if you wanted to keep them up on your wall after Valentine's Day. Easy to remove. I love to recycle and use things over and over. It's the easiest way to stretch your dollar. There you go. What do you think? so cute. One last pearl to go on that bow and we're good to go. Seriously, this may be one of my favorite wreaths. I probably say that for all of them, but this is so darn cute. And it gives me so many ideas for options and possibilities of things that I want to do this spring. So be sure if you have not subscribed that you do subscribe. I put out three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying all this content. And please consider sharing these videos if you know anybody who would enjoy it. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you again soon. Bye.